Hello students, welcome to study life. Today in the chapter mineral and nutrition, we are going to learn about the nodule formation. Well student, this term is associated with the process called as biological nitrogen fixation. Biological nitrogen fixation. Now student, in this process, what is happening? The nodules are formed in the roots. Nodules are formed. Where they are being formed? They are being formed in the roots. Now students, you must be thinking that how is this nodules formed? Basically, it involves the multiple interaction between the root hair and the bacteria. So, the multiple interaction between root hair that is the most outer part of the root and what student on the bacteria. But here, which bacteria I am talking about? One example I am writing over here. And generally, the same thing is happening in all the nodule formation. That is the bacteria rhizobium. Okay. Now, let's see with the help of the diagram. I would like to show you the different stages involved for the formation of the mature nodule. Okay, student, so here what I have drawn is the part of the, the intersection of the root. Intersection of root. Okay, now when I observe this, I can see that there are presence of root hair. That is the extension which is being involved from the root that is called as the root hair. Now, of course, since students, this root is present inside the soil. So, there will be soil particles present around the root hair. Do you agree with me? Well, so we have soil particles, we have root hair. But yes, we do have one more extra constituent that is just highlighted with the orange spots. That is nothing but the bacteria. And these bacteria comes in contact with the plant with the help of the soil. Since they are already present in the soil. Well student and how they are present in the soil? With the help of the organic decomposition. Right? So maybe by the plant or maybe by the animals. So they are being present in the soil. In the soil. Now when they comes in contact with the root hair. What is happening? The outer side of the root hair is getting hooked up because they are infecting that particular area. That is the opening of the, once they comes in contact with the root hair, what happens to root hair? Root hair is getting infected by the bacteria. So, the infection is being taken place. It, once it is infected by the bacteria, what is happening? The tip of the root hair is getting hooked up. As you can see here in the diagram, how it is being extended or it is being forming a hook. So, tip is hooked up. Thus, rupturing the opening of the root hair by getting accumulation of the bacteria. Well, student, once it, this stage is occurring, that means the root hair is going to allow the bacteria to enter the root hair, which is being shown in the third stage. As you can see, the infection thread containing the bacteria. That means the allowance of the bacteria has already taken place and the entire bacteria's team, the colonies is being entered. And once they are entering, they are not just being stopped over here somewhere in the root hair, but they enter inside the root. If I 
want to show you with the help of the diagram supposing this is my root the secondary root which is being arised and then we have the further classifications so if the one root here is permitted if this area is being permitted so what will happen it will be transported likewise it will be transported and yes the nodules will be forming in different parts of the root are you understanding students so what happened over here they, the rhizobium bacteria has already entered and yes once they are getting the favorable condition what do you understand by the favorable condition student they are getting the proper nutrients minerals proper nutrients mineral water and the water will be transported with the help of which cell can you tell me students exactly it is with the help of the xylem and mineral and nutrients will be with the help of the phloem so rhizobium is getting the favorable condition now what will happen here the rhizobium the bacteria is keep on dividing dividing and redividing forming the extra enlarged growth extra enlarged growth where and in the root so multiplication of bacteria or bacterial cells leads to the formation of a mature nodule are you understanding student so that, that's how the mature nodule as you can see the complete bulk this nodule is being formed and likewise the different stages are involved and mature nodule is formed and this mature nodule is having all the composition including including the very important elements that is the enzyme nitrogenase the enzyme nitrogenase and the leguminous hemoglobin these are the main important composition for the conversion of nitrogen into the ammonia that is conversion of nitrogen into the ammonia what is important these two ingredients are important and of course this nitrogenase enzyme will be secreted by whom by the bacteria right student so that's how the nodule formation is taking place and this is also called as a symbiotic association what it is called as symbiotic association because both the species are being benefited and they are being you know sharing the benefits symbiotic association this is a really important concept student wherein you need to understand the different stage and nodule formation because this is a very important and prominent concept that you need to clarify so student that's all about this concept i hope you've got the clarity to get more clarity in your concept stay tuned with study life thank you mm -hmm.